crazy hot today, better turn on the cooling system. This control unit is operated by battery. It can do 16 starts per day and 4 minutes per cycle. Voila! On it comes. It will cool the plants down by a good 5 degrees. On a hot day, the seed pot can get quite hot, actually hotter than the ambient temperature, so it's important to cool them down. I accidentally damaged a leaf, so I'm going to repair it by sliding down a staple made from a twisty. This will stop the leaf from wilting. Here's another way to apply a staple. Only a dozen so leaves are produced each year, so each leaf is precious. To begin the harvesting process, first get the label from the pot parent. Then remove the seed pods with its corresponding name tags. Then go to the stud book. First enter a designated cross number, followed by the name of the pot parent. Write the cross number onto the seed pot twice. This is followed by the name of the pollen parent. Then the record is complete for this particular seed pod. This seed pod is made from a cross of two of my best pinks. I'll grow a hundred flowers if I have the room. This seed pod is from the best two orange flowers. Repeat the process and enter the start book. Give it a designated cross number. And then record the names of the pot parent and the pollen parent. In this particular cross, the designated cross number is 2411. For those of you who are interested in orange crosses, please remember this cross number. Altogether, there are 14 seed pods harvested this year. I wrap them individually in sandwich bags. I don't know why I do this. It's just a habit I got into. Please view this video to the end to lend your support, subscribe and share. Your support is my inspiration for doing more videos. Half an hour later, 
An interesting flower with a white lip. This is the sibling of the one before. The lip is almost completely white. A nice apple green. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe and share. See you next time.